So welcome back to the check cell um, portion of the antibody screen. I was running out of time. So here I am, I'm gonna add the check cells now to only the negative ones. So the patient that was in the back, the first tube was positive. So I'm gonna take that away so I don't accidentally add it to them. Um, all of these were negative, all of these were negative. So we're gonna add the cells only to the reaction tubes that were negative. All right, so one drop each. One, 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 and one. So the next step that we do is we gently shake them, okay? And we're putting them back into the centrifuge, the serifuge. Notice that I did not decant any or take out any of the AHG reagent. So the reagent's still in there. I'm gonna put this one back into the centrifuge to balance it, even though I'm not gonna read it, okay? So don't get confused on that. All right, so we're doing 15 seconds. All right, so um, what we're expecting is for all of these to be positive, okay? Because remember, the AHG reagent is still in each of these tubes, okay? So the check cells are coated with IgG. So the anti-human IgG antibodies that are in this reagent are supposed to bind to the check cells that are here that actually have those antibodies on them. So we should expect to see positive reactions. And for this patient, again, we don't need to do, we didn't add check cells to this one because the patient was already positive all throughout. Here, in these cells, we're expecting to see positive for the same reason as the other patient. Okay, so let's take them out and look for agglutination. These should be strong reactions, so we'll see. That's three, that's the auto. Here's the one and the two. Okay, so let's try them. So these are all the the negative patient. They are positive. It's very hard to see. Again, they're, it's a weak reaction. Do you see it now? The positive um, little agglutinates in there. I'm sorry they're so tiny. These are really good. Okay, so here we're looking at it and there's like a two plus in each of those, okay? So let me write that down before I forget. So we have weak, 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 and then two plus, two plus. Okay, so that's for the negative patient. So that turned out the way we expected except for that um, those stinking weak reactions. All right, now let's do, oh, good, okay. So we've got like two plus in both of those. Here's the auto, that's more like a one plus, okay. And we did not add anything to this one, so we're not gonna do that. All right, so there was no need, no need to do it on this one. All right, and we had, uh, what did we say? I think we said two plus, two plus, and three plus. I can't remember um, looking at it. Maybe they were one, sorry. One, two, and two. Okay, um, in the lab, when we do this and, and you're a uh, bench, tech you actually just put a check there 
But for teaching purposes, I like to put the reaction uh, strength uh, just to show students that, you know, it did react um, and also to, to see if our reagents are still good. So if you were actually in the lab in a clinical facility, you would be writing just check. Okay, and that's why people call them check cells also because you're checking to see that the reagent's still in there. Um, but we call them, we just write a check there. And, and you don't really need to put anything here because this was, um, that was already positive. So if you were in the clinical site, you would have a column that looked like this. Okay, so same thing, same thing with this one. Um, if you were in a clinical site, you would write check, 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 and that's what it would look like. You wouldn't, you wouldn't grade them, but you know, since I'm teaching, I'm trying to grade. Okay, so with this person, I do not need to do an antibody panel because there weren't any reactions here, okay? So there is no auto or allo unexpected antibodies. Okay, for this patient, I added a reagent to make this patient positive. So this patient has an unexpected allo antibody. It's allo because there is no reaction in the auto control, okay? The auto control is negative, all right? So the next step that we're going to do is an antibody panel, an antibody identification panel to figure out what um, what antibody does this patient actually have in their blood? And then you'll be able to tell me it's anti-whatever because this is, this is what I added to make it positive. So this antibody was added on purpose. Um, all right, so uh, definitely check out my antibody identification panel video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.